Good evening. It's uh, Monday, the 15th of May, and we're uh, opening up our selectmen's meeting. <coughs> and tonight we have one item on the agenda. Our collector or treasurer, Susan Warren, is going to brief us on some fabulous state regulations. <laughs> do you want, do you want to come, come up one row or? You know, I'll spin this around too, actually, because that's why we think we have an extra one up here. So that way you can. You know, we're part of Hampshire County Group Insurance Trust, and they would like to have a special meeting tonight. Okay. Um, they would like to look at future plans to help save employers <coughs> and employees alike some money. So this is very early process. Um, we would like you guys to take a look at that section of the law and read it if you agree with it. Um, we need to get letters out to unions so that everybody is aware of this process starting. This is the very beginning. Um, we don't have any plans in place or anything like that. It's just opening it up so we can really? look at making some changes. Okay. <clears throat> and have the other towns started looking at that everybody as well? Everybody has to do this. Yeah, because we all have to adopt it essentially. Do they, um, is there a cutoff date that they want this all done by? July 1. July 1. Part. Okay. <clears throat> so any plan changes are probably fiscal 19. 19. Okay. So that gives us a little more flexibility with negotiations and everything. everything That's kind of the. Everything will come back to you once um, <clears throat> this were to happen. Um, unions are here at your vote. Then we can give, the, give that vote to Hampshire County Group. Then I'll look at some plans. They'll talk to Blue Cross. Um, we'll have some changes. We may come back with a couple of plans saying we can do this, this, and this option. It's a process. It's going to take some time. That's why we have to start it now. Okay. And the insurance year is April because Hampshire County Group has uh, Franklin County and Hampshire County. Hampshire County's open enrollment is for April, April. 1, so I think we have to have it. In place for, in place for that. that. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Good, Mr. Chair. Mm -hmm. So this is setting uh, the um, organized members of the pool on notice. The outcome of whatever happens with the decision for Hampshire County affects all of our staff, correct? It affects anybody who takes that insurance. Correct. Yes. Anybody who participates is going to be affected by all this. Towns. And that's important to bear in mind. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're not talking exclusively about, about uh, organized labor. We're talking about all enrollment. Right. Everybody. And you know, <clears throat> I personally have yeah. been on this insurance yep. for 20 years. Right. Really? Okay. And it has never changed. Yep. And look at what you see outside of here with all yep. the insurance changes. Mm -hmm. Nobody has these. These are nice plans, but they're expensive. Sure. And I think if we can make some changes, we'll help employers and employees. Sure. So that's good. That's good. Thank you. So when you, Susan, when you say changes, you're talking about co-pays, uh, what's offered, what's not offered? We can raise co-pays. We can do tiered co-pay, depending on what service you use. We could do deductibles, which I think the consensus of everybody was that we can stay away from deductibles. Right. Mm. So, Gone up nine, ten percent today. I think this year. Yeah, they were the first big yeah. jump in a while. <clears throat> so that, yeah, because I was so reading through the. Yeah. If we can, if we can get those plans in place, yeah. Take some of the sting out of it. Yeah. yeah. That would be good. <clears throat> so it'll be interesting to see what kind of suggestions that they come up with. Yeah. So they get to that. So the steps, you're, if I could, Mr. Chair, the steps you're putting forward here have got uh, adoption of a statute, review and adoption, and then notice. Notice is first. Notice is first. Yeah. Right. If you guys agree to this, mm -hmm. that you think this is a good thing, then you mm -hmm. have to get it onto an agenda. Mm -hmm. vote. We have to vote for it. And we have to send out letters to the union so that they're able to come. 
So your correspondence says we're gonna adopt chapter 32 B's 21 and 22. Again, adoption is, is through the purview of the Board of Selectmen, not town meeting is adopting a statute? Okay, thank you. I would think we'd have to do a hearing essentially too when they're here, right? Wouldn't we for that? No, but it's or the Board of Selectmen has the authority to do that without a public hearing. Really? So it can just be at a regular meeting as part of the public meeting. comment, huh? Mm -hmm. Hmm, okay. I, I thought we were supposed to have a uh, insurance committee. Is it the HCOG acting, the trust acting as your insurance committee? Oh, yeah. Is that? Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. Hmm. No, we do look to them to make I the guidance. They act in that capacity. Hmm. They deal directly with you, Ross. Do all the negotiations. They, yeah, yeah just present to us, and then we can bring them out to town. We get a little homework to read up on this okay. then, and then. And anything that comes with these meetings, then I can bring you guys. Okay. Yeah, that'll be good so we know, yeah, where they're, where they're headed. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Anybody got any other questions? Really? If, if I could, uh, mm -hmm. separate subject as we talk about the upcoming um, revisiting of the FY18 budget. We have some slush in there, yeah. slush, Anticipa anticipated <laughs> enrollment, right? This is in health insurance, yeah. anticipated enrollment in health insurance. Is there any opportunity to reduce that anticipated enrollment? I know we've, we've been at zero growth for a number of years now. Right, and um, honestly right now, I, when we open up yep. uh, from May to June, yep. we can our transfers right. I don't have enough money to make the next payment so in the current the year so the current year I'm short yeah 10,000 I think right about 10, 000, 10, 000. Hmm. Um, but we get mm -hmm. next year what did I put in two two families two families yep. so today <laughs> I picked up a single and an employee plus one that possibly will change to a family huh. okay mm -hmm. So again, from a forecasting <clears throat> perspective, and again, this is a bit of a softball, right? From a forecast, we go into budget discussions going into 616, our annual special town, special town meeting extension of our annual. We have a big percentage of that anticipated enrollment already committed. Got it. I really wanted like 10 grand. I know. I thought you it. I, I, and we trust your advice, right? Just as a, Got it. So again, just to, as we went through the budget process, we, we, we anticipated, we budgeted for in excess of two family plans. We currently have a single and a plus one. So it may not be the whole uh, value, but it's but, a chunk. But we're all, this mm. year, we're already, you know, we're, we're already behind. Enough, so right. what was budgeted yep. is I think that's helpful in the dialogue. It's not not a, a question. Mm -hmm. I think your your, I think your your advice and counsel was was uh, well noted during the budget process, but it's important that people hear it right now that there may not be that availability that availability right. in the insurance line. And if I don't, it's so hard to budget. Sure. That I, I, I you could drop two. You could drop two mid year or whatever the yeah, enrollment and period. If somebody has a spouse that loses their job. Yep. Right, That's, then they have to pick up coverage. Event, they right. call me up and I have to put them on. Got it. So or they get married or something. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There's a and number maybe of... Maybe they go to a, a family. Jump to a family. So. Yeah, we've been usually doing two family plans as sort of the, the buffer in there. Okay. We've, been, we've been at zero growth. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is the first year I remember the, the consternations about the treasurer collector's recommendation was, you probably, you really should consider it this year. Yeah. I think, I think we actually... Right. Have to you know, dip in for it. Yeah. So it probably makes sense to have a little, a little safety net in there. Thanks, Scott. Okay. All right. Thank you. Susan, one other question on a different thing on your tax collector hat. Mm -hmm. um, a couple people in town have asked about quarterly payments instead of by you know semi. Thoughts, thoughts on that? Is that advantageous? Um, what do you think? Um, 
I know <laughs> I wouldn't be opposed to it. I think it makes it easier for people to do a quarterly payment rather than a semi-annual. Um, and what I find is I have to have bills out by July 1 that are due October 1, and they have to be out by January 1 to be due April 1, to not miss those deadlines. So I mail a bill December 31st, and March 28th, they're calling me going, I never got a bill, or they come in, you Good know, point. they end up with a demand because they didn't make their payment, and I didn't even get a bill. But I find out down the road that they did, because if I ask more questions, we kind of back into right. that, where right. you get the bill three months ahead of time. Right, you're and they kind of forget about you're it. You're going to put it in a bill wrap, or you're going to put it in a folder or somewhere, and out of sight, out of mind, you forget, and then all of a sudden it's due, and like, oh my gosh. So you, you, know, you, you know about, about our bill yeah. rack then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's like, oh, that's not due for a little while. Exactly. Like right up there. Have the bills yep. out there and have to remember because people are busy. Yep. Well, I just want, I, I mean, you're the one that would affect, you know, it, it mm. I mean, yeah. more processing. Yeah. But really. but I, that's why I thought, you know, they, they've asked it. Um, and, and I know we had talked about it in the past. I don't know if we talked about it with you, but maybe with our lot. Past treasure collector about uh, yeah. meeting deadlines and cash flows and stuff like that because we we right. fortunately have not had a problem with cash flow. Um, it was within five years now. There was the treasure collector brought back the article right. about authority to borrow because of cash flow, right. and that's the same year that we went biannual. So, so can we talk about that? The next, can you can you look into that and see you know. I, I'm not asking you for a final decision tonight, but can you look into that and see what it would take and if it would be advantageous in both ways? One for the people paying bills, and also, right. you know, I, I don't, I mean, we have limited, and you try to explain that we have very limited staffing to begin with. That's why I'd rather ask you for your opinion before we just said to do it because. Well, you know, I don't, I, I don't know. It, it makes collecting sort of spread out mm -hmm. over the year a little bit more, but I'm pretty crazy in March. I mean, you can ask anybody in the building. I'm pretty crazy right. in March because I have more vehicle out, you know, water, real estate, everything, and it's busy, and I'm doing it all myself. And the last two years, for some reason, I'm not quite sure why it was two years, but it took me longer to catch up. I mean, I just had piles. Like, I had money everywhere that I was trying to catch up on. So it might spread some of that out. It might be collecting four times a year, but it would be not, I know it's standard volume, it's just hard to explain, but maybe I don't have as many because I want to be able that big one's only one time a year, mm -hmm. and it wouldn't really run into right. the big real estate as well. But you could kind of shift the timing so, of it maybe yeah. a little. Just, just think about it. Next, mm -hmm. You know, think about it over the next couple of months. See how, see how it goes. See, see a, a, if it would be advantageous, not advantageous or, it, or neutral. You know, if it's neutral or advantageous, maybe it's something that we look at doing. Uh, if I had to make my choice, if you were a regular semi-annual and those were the two choices to go, preliminary semi-annual or quarterly, I would choose quarterly. Again, you, you create you create what's essentially a series of tasks once per quarter mm -hmm. that aren't projects, which are once per half a year. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. So you spread it out across the scale. Yeah. Hey, good point. Hmm. But and, and and again, I know a lot of people today, um, their mortgage so takes payment. care of it. Yeah. Yes. Um, but, so, you know, thirty years ago, forty years ago, we had people walking in all the time paying, and we still do. But it's not probably as many as we had 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. When yeah. every, there's a lot. but there's still a lot. No, yeah. but and and actually, it's kind of it's a double-edged sword. Sometimes it's not bad having people realize how much you're paying for their local services, and and I don't I think they get a pretty good deal for what they pay for. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes and and you know sometimes when you send your <laughs> your W two and everything, your form ten forty to the federal government. <laughs> it's like whoosh, there it goes, <laughs> there it goes, and you don't know. So, okay, maybe we'll ask you a couple months. Okay, what thank you, Susan. What percentage of them uh, pay electronically? Is it? A uh, well, we have. Just kind of. 
So it depends on what you mean electronically, like through their own bank or through our banking? We yeah, have either loan. one, you know. A um, huge portion comes, the, the nice thing actually, with the banks when they pay the escrow comes with the email. Mm -hmm. So okay. I file in my email, and in about two minutes flat, I can upload it and post $450,000 in the money's already in the bank. Okay. That's easy. Yep. Um, a good portion use banking on their own that comes with their own check. You know that when they use that you know, through their own bank. Great. Those are the most time consuming because some people don't put enough information on it. So I'm sure. searching through the right. system. Oh, trying to and find them. Mind bills, I'm trying to figure out what they're paying. Yep. And others use our system, which is through Unibank on our website. Right. And that is pretty good. I can pull that down pretty quick. And posting, but I can do it. Okay. Hmm. And a lot of mail. Still a lot, a lot, of, a lot of good old-fashioned mail. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Thanks. Appreciate it. Okay. Uh, we got minutes from May 8th to approve. Motion. I will approve. second. All right. <clears throat> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Three to zero, Sherry. Please. All right. That's lots of minutes. Just a light agenda. I'm not used to this tonight. It's, all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a good way to get get your feet wet. I know, right? Um, so, any board updates tonight? Um, I would just uh, a couple quick things. One is, uh, I know juniors, seniors, and sophomores. Uh, in high school watch this program religiously <laughs> um, but graduation prom season is, is upon us and I, I just hope I just hope y'all um, just speaking as a parent and have had an enjoyable time but also you're very aware of, of your surroundings and um, be careful enjoy yourself because um, there's a Whole big world out there that uh, we still have to experience. So that's very true. Yep, that's good. Good point. <clears throat> so we had uh, union negotiations with the police last uh, Thursday morning, and a capital committee meeting last Tuesday night. And the capital committee um, said the recommendation for the um, fuel pumps replacement at the uh, highway department and I would say that the union negotiations at the police level are such that we have language that's out right now being reviewed to have a full draft um, for our, one of our next few meetings and mm. we should be in pretty good shape I would want to also express uh, my uh, gratitude for uh, the flexibility this has been one of the longest of our negotiations uh, with the police union in Three contracts, so almost ten years, uh, but they've been substantive and uh, creative. It's been very, mm, uh, it's been very, very, uh, it's been very healthy. Hmm. That's good. <clears throat> I actually don't have any updates for tonight. So, um, do you have any exciting news, Sherry? No, just the uh, draft special town meeting more there for your review. Mm -hmm. I'll be attending a uh, workshop for the park grant on Wednesday. Oh, okay. Oh, good. So that's our next project. That'll be good. Yeah. Good. That's and that's for the back um, section. The riverfront. Right? Park riverfront. Park. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah. Okay, good. Connecting the dots slowly between that and our street items street and everything. Streets. Yeah. It'll be good. <sighs> Mr. Chair, could I ask about the the basic framework of the special town meeting warrant, Sherry? When does it close? Um, you will be signing next week. So next Monday is the fourteenth. Yep, yep, on the twenty second. Okay. And will be posted on June second. Okay. And motions at the same meeting. Uh, the motions the same. Yeah. And sense. it looks like based on the draft we have, uh, looks like four articles, mainly revisiting the budget, one capital piece, and then. Compensation studies here is in Article Four, mm -hmm. and that was excluded from the budget discussions last time because of the potential grant. 
Uh, the personnel, it was, it was submitted as a capital project, <coughs> and then in reviewing it with the capital yep. committee and Joe Markarian yep. from FERCOG, yep. um, it was felt that it didn't fit into capital. capital. Um, okay. Sort of ongoing. Yeah, it's cost. not really a yeah. capital asset. Okay. Thank you. We'll try to get to so you guys. We're, we're, tonight we're not doing budget stuff tonight. That's okay. But we'll, we'll do it. We're going to do it next because the the uh, finance committee is meeting tomorrow night. Yeah. So and school committee is meeting this week too. Tomorrow night. So tomorrow night. So. Okay. And, uh, and, uh, 300, and the 300. And the 300. Busy night. <laughs> yeah. So we'll be back to the fun next week. So. Um, although we have, we can go up to our public comment hour if anybody's any public comments. So. You're the only public in the room at the moment, so. <laughs> I guess we'll, we'll wait for public comments until we figure out what the, what the budget's going to be. So okay. That's what our comments are. <laughs> we okay. We just want to know what the, you know, what the process is. Where it's going. And, and, yep. Okay. So, I guess I'd say one thing that if, um, if we're going to make any changes to the library budget, if that was necessary, uh, that you let us know what you wanted and Right. Changes. All right, based yeah. on the suggestions, yeah, so and hopefully we'll see what the out. see what the finance committee comes up with too. Yeah, because we'll have a little time between then and um, and then the following week is Memorial, Memorial Day, so we won't we won't be here then. But so we'll have a little time then, I think, to to react to anything that that comes up. So short answer is yes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Um, I think we need to put this on our agenda, our little evening quote. <laughs> I don't know about that. If I could, yeah, Mr. Chair. I think it's good. Remarks. Closing remarks. Closing remarks. That's right. There you go. So, if I could, Mr. Chair, not from a founding father, <clears throat> but from someone. Uh, and it, Quote, uh, it comes down to the value of examples, uh, which can be either positive or negative, and it works like this. Because the principle that a calm sea and prosperous voyage do not make news, but a shipwreck does, most circulated news is bad news. The badness of it is publicized, publis, publicized, I'm sorry, and the negative publicity attracts more of the same through repetition and imitation. But good can be as communicable as evil, and that's where kindness and compassion come into play. So long as conscionable and caring people are around, so long as they are not muted or exiled, so long as they remain alert in thought and action, there is a chance for contagions, contagions of the right stuff, whereby democracy becomes no longer a choice of lesser evils, whereby the right to vote is not betrayed by staying away from the polls, and whereby the freedom of speech, assembly, religion, and dissent are never forsaken. From Norman Corwin, 1945's production of On a Note of Triumph about the end of World War II. Hmm. Right. I'd like to end on a little little thing to think about there, which is nice. Well, I, I would say if anybody has an opportunity, Scott, thank you for reading that, because anybody has an opportunity if, to, to uh, go and listen to uh, Senator Warren's yep. um, mm. <laughs> graduation speech at That's UMass. I will say I've listened to Senator Warren four or five times, times yeah. um, and the first four times may not have, they're more campaign stump speeches, right. um, but if you, if you took away the couple times where she reverted back into the politician, um, if you take away those couple, just, and there were only a couple. Um, her talk was a call to arms for the young generation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to save democracy. Because if you really, if you want democracy to work, that's you back there with a hat on, by the way. She was talking to you. <laughs> she, she, she wasn't talking yeah. to this old guy. She was talking to you. And, 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 she, and what she said was that if you want democracy to work, you, you have to work at yeah. democracy. Correct. And democracy yep. was more than, than just voting. So you have to become educated as well. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, I, and, and it, it was, and she also said another important thing where if you, if for an instant, if you don't think 
it's important to talk to your elected officials. You know, you have people talking about, say, um, they don't want to, um, school loans, student mm -hmm. loans yep. being student so loans. expensive. And she says, well, guess, guess who makes that policy? And she says it's elected officials. And, and she said, and it doesn't matter if you're in Boston or Washington, D.C., that it's important to remember that um, your elected officials, and this goes for local as well as state and federal, need to hear from you what's important. Because if for one instant you think that they're not hearing from people, you're mistaken. It's just a much smaller pool, pool of people with a lot more money mm -hmm. that are talking and mm -hmm. that's who they're hearing from every day. Mm -hmm. So I would just say if you have an opportunity, listen to her graduation. Um, where first time I ever heard uh, somebody that doing a graduation speech tell students that are graduating that they need to study. And they thought they were done. And they thought they were done. <laughs> So I, I, again, I would re highly recommend that, that you take a while and, and take take the, the message. And the message is that for our democracy to work, you have to be involved. Correct. It's a very important. Uh, I don't know. Yep. Like any relationship, it takes work. Yeah. <clears throat> so we just got some other important dates to remember. Five twenty-two seventeen next Monday will be our next meeting. The following Monday, 529, will be Memorial Day, and I'm sure everybody's going to some fabulous place. So we'll be, we'll be closed then. And then our special town meeting will be June 16th at 7 p.m. at the elementary school. We get to do it all over again. So that'll be, that'll be fun. So does that mean that our, our parade for Memorial Day is Friday before the 29th? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's but right. We can make sure that's on our agenda. Uh -huh. That's right. The 26th. Was that? Yes, Friday the 26th. That'll be our Memorial Day Parade. Let's hope it's dry. But in case it isn't, we usually have, we've got a backup plan now. We'll be over at the school and the gym. So that's worked out pretty well, which was good. Yeah, it was good to have a, a backup plan. We came up with that two, three years ago. So, all right. We have a motion that I want to throw out? Uh, motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Good night.